so tell me, where are you? How many people are around you and what are you doing? Well, basically, I'm standing at San Sunset Beach, which is, a, which is an area just outside Cape Town, a mother city of South Africa. I've got uh, Table Mountain in the back of me, as well as the ocean and the beach. We have about uh, just over a thousand people here at this moment uh, participating in the cleanup. And we have JCI from Cape Town and we have uh, Sandcop, uh, the organization that looks at tangled and oil wildlife uh, marine birds, as well as one of our celebrities from Hollywood. There she is, Shannon Elizabeth. She's decided to join us today with her dog Peanut and, and the Simon Borcher, their partner. So, uh, so we have a lot of people here and there's a, a good vibe. Uh, everybody's happy and, uh, and they started from early on to start picking up the trash. So it's going very, very well. What are you cleaning actually? You're cleaning the beach? Yes, we're cleaning the beach and, uh, and one of uh, the, the, the area that is uh, sort of the, the residential area that is connected to the beach, it's a green zone. So uh, this is one of the areas that we have today in South Africa that is being cleaned. Um, there's also uh, obviously um, many more areas in South Africa that's currently being utilized uh, for, for the cleaning, or, you know, which, which was organized by our leader of South Africa, Selindile. I'm sure you're going to talk to her a little bit later. But uh, this is one of the, the hot spots. We call it the hot spots that needed to be cleaned today. Mm. What is the biggest uh, problem in South Africa concerning uh, the environment and trash? Well, basically, um, in Cape Town, I can just mention that we have uh, five landfill areas. And the situation is such that um, by the end of this year, the landfills will be, uh, will be, will be uh, uh, you know, there won't be more space or place for any more rubble or, or waste to be put in the landfills. And those are registered landfills. So at this point in time, we are looking at, at actually trying to create a circular economy by moving towards zero waste concept and, and getting shops and, and our big retailers to actually um, start taking cognizance of the issues we have with plastic, with packaging, and that we actually take this the extra mile through the government and through our municipalities uh, to actually make sure that we work according to a zero waste concept. We have our biggest problem is building rubble that ends up in our landfills. And not only that, we also have then obviously the plastic that's dumped in the ocean by our passing ships. Um, you know, behind me is Cape Town Harbour, and it's it's uh, it's a tragic situation in terms of the uh, the, the trash that's floating in the, in the harbour. What's the common behaviour of people uh, with uh, trash? I mean, how is the trash culture uh, developed in uh, South Africa? Do people throw trash on the ground? Yes. Uh, we have, we have quite a situation with trash in South Africa, and, and uh, the issue is pretty much packaging. Um, it's a competition between um, these retailers in terms of who package the best, instead of just getting rid of the plastic. And then it also in terms of education, uh, we have pulled our education uh, in, in South Africa, and specifically Africa, because I do work with the whole of, of Africa uh, and the African leaders. Uh, you know, you have the mentality of, of, of a person who buy a bottle of water uh, in, in, say, in the city, and then they would go to the township and actually dump that plastic bottle in the township. And so um, you have um, unlisted but threatening uh, uh, dump sites that develop in the townships and in other areas. You know, um, the typical scenario of where people take their trash or their, their garden refuge and they just go and dump it next to the roads on a pavement. Uh, and then next, uh, uh, within a day, it becomes a dump site. And this, these are the type of things that we, we're actually looking out for. And we're actually educating the people to make sure that they don't do that. And, and that we actually need to take responsibility for what we use. And, and you know, clean up behind us and make sure we start recycling. Thank you very much for this interview. I hope you have a great day. Well, you're welcome. And uh, good luck to everybody in the world with a clean-up day.